Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today I'm showing you a little project I cooked up in the last 15 minutes. So, it's pretty much midnight here. Um, I was out recently, and I picked up one of these. It's a Sharper Image wireless audio transmitter. What it does is, it, uh, if you watched my Electronics 101 tutorial on, uh, on uh, was it radio signal transmissions. What it does is it modulates an FM, it uses an FM signal, a frequency modulation to transmit whatever audio you're passing into this uh, to the headsets. And at, because the headsets are also an FM receiver, they also function as a radio. Now, I'm a big fan of being lazy. So having this be able to pick up, say, from my television or my laptop, which I can hook up to my television, and be able to listen to it remotely and be able to adjust the audio without having to get up, huge plus. But I had a thought. The transmission range on this is crap. It's like 100 feet. I can't go very far outside my room without it immediately going to static. So I thought, maybe I could apply a trick I used in my senior capstone project, and I'll put a link to that in the description so you can check it out. It's actually a really cool project. But what I had to do in that was figure out a way to extend the range of a transmitter farther than is theoretically possible. So, what I did was, I took the base, cracked it open, and these are the innards here. And all it is is a basic FM oscillator, which modulates based upon the audio you put in. And here is the antenna. It's this long copper wire that runs along the length of the device. Now, in order to get my project to work, I had, like I said, to increase the range of the transmission. And I thought about making a big antenna. And the biggest antenna you have in your house is your ground wire. Well, it's one of the biggest antennas. There's no power on it, so I don't have to worry about uh, power flux frying the device. And it goes everywhere. And the cool thing is that when I had applied it to my project, I found out that the signal not only travels along the wire, but will propagate onto other wires and actually be able to move throughout the entire house. So, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So, I've got an iPod, which is destroyed, so the screen doesn't work anymore, but it still functions as an iPod. So I thought, oh, I'll just hook up my iPod into the audio in, and I can put this down, plug it in, and just listen to my music wherever I am. So, what you're going to need is some, well, I'm just showing you, I've got one of these. If you have a similar device that works on the same principle, it will probably work but this is just one I happen to have. You're also going to need one of these. This is a male socket plug you can pick up from Home Depot. So if I open this up, so you're gonna to want to get one with the three sockets so that you get the ground plug. And what I've got is just a wire, very long wire, probably about I don't know, six, seven feet. So I got a good long wire. And it's just going, and it just runs right to the ground wire. There's a little set screw here. So what you do is you feed this wire, strip out a good bit of the end, take the end of the antenna here, and I twist it around the antenna. And I put that back into the case. And that's it. So now all you've got to do is take the plug. After you put the shielding back on, I can't tell you how many times when I was testing my capstone, I didn't leave the shielding back on. And I... It's not fun to have 120 volts AC running through your hand. It tickles, but it's not pleasant. So now all you've got to do is plug this into a, uh, an outlet with a ground prong. Turn this on, and the range increases almost immediately. And again, it will work over any scale, or at least any scale I've tested, which is over 700 feet. So, obviously, you can go ahead and solder this down. I'm going to, tomorrow, 
punch a hole in the top of this case and run the wire through so it's a little more easy to look at but I mean that's it so this is a good way to extend any similar device if you've got a device that runs say pro uh, needs to transmit video signal over a longer distance this is a good way to do it so this has been a human hard drive thanks for watching